Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, I wanted to kind of help those out there that are watching this that might be uh, scared of leak code or just kind of intimidated by leak code. I know that there's people out there like that because that was me just a few weeks ago and for a long time. I've been coding for about five years and for the vast majority of that time, I was not doing leak code. I was intimidated by it, but I have started now and I think I have just a tiny bit of tips that can maybe help someone out there. So this is not for the anyone that's been doing leak code for any period of time. This is for the person that wants just some advice. Um, as you can see, I've only done 26 problems. H how I got started was I went to problems. I'd pick, I'd go here, I'd pick a uh, data structure like stacks, graphs, trees, matrix, or um, I think most people, including myself, will start with something like an array or a string. Let's go to array. And what I did was I would, I would come to this table here and I would pick two sum. You know, initially that was quite hard because you would think the first one and it, the first one that shows up and it being labeled as easy, you'd be like, it's gotta be the easiest one, right? No, it's not, at least not necessarily. So as you can see, uh, see this acceptance number. Um, so that means only 50% of people are getting this right. But what you wanna do is you want to click one of these table headers, either difficulty, sort by difficulty from easy to hard. As you can see, I've done a number of these and largely difficulty lines up with acceptance, but you can also sort by acceptance. So these will definitely be in my opinion, these are probably the easiest ones to knock out. You can just get over that hump that you're probably facing of not doing leak code and just start to get some of the, your questions under your belt. Cause some of these, you'll find that some of these are really easy. Like, like this one concatenation of an array. I don't mean to, you know, this is a free answer, I guess from the video, but usually you'll find the wording is harder than the actual, you know, question. Cause like this is just concatenate an array. And all I did was spread the two arrays. So like read, read the question very carefully and understand that it might not be quite as hard as it might sound like. Another thing to do is don't go to solutions, but go to discussion and try to, you're not supposed to put answers here. Like this guy, of course, there's someone out there that's not going to listen, but, but yeah, this is a good discussion board. Um, a lot of these people are just giving answers, but some of them have good insights. I know there's someone out there that's probably wanting to get in leak code and they just haven't gotten over the hump. This kind of thing is really important. Like I've been in interviews that ask these algorithmic type questions and you just kind of kick yourself when you're in that position and you don't know how to answer these things. It's also fun, you know, it's also just kind of pretty addicting because you get this on your profile, you get this GitHub like, you know, grid and it's super satisfying to be on a streak. Like right now, I guess I'm just on a, a two day streak. I, I guess I missed a day, but you get these squares with submissions. You get this awesome piece right here with how many you've done of each category. But yeah, I don't want to drone on too long. Um, if this helped you get into leak code at all, uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. But yeah, I, I definitely encourage you guys to check it out and try to get over that hump if you can. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.